this video I'll be showing you a couple of automatic downloaders for TV programs and movie files from either Usenet or Torrents. And these are called Sickbeard and Couch Potato respectively. Now I use these on my NAS to download programs directly from Usenet. The first one, Sickbeard. Now this seems to be an alpha release for, well, pretty much ever it seems like, but it's by no means an alpha quality program. The way this works is you can add a new TV show. I was just thinking something like 24. And it goes and searches for it. And you can look through the next options. So yeah, if you want to create a new folder. And you can customise the options in, on the quality of the program that you want downloaded. So you can set initial quality. This is what Sickbeard will just try and grab first off. And then the quality you want to keep permanently. And this will be the next quality Sickbeard will try and grab. Or you can just go for a default of high definition or standard definition. I'm just going to cancel that and uh, just show you the programs I've got at the moment. It can show you the episodes that are coming up and if it knows the air date it will put that in. It gets all this information from the TV database, the tvdb.com. You get the information about your episodes if you hover over the little eye button. And you can click search if you want to manually search, otherwise it automatically searches. So that's all very nice, and this is a quality program. The only reason it lets me down is if uh, the files are named incorrectly on Usenet, and uh, that's where it can become a bit of an issue. If, if there's garbage file names, it will download the garbage files. I don't know why that's a different colour there. I can just change that. Change the selected episodes to downloaded HD 1080 WebDL. There you go, you can customise the videos that you already have. But normally it does recognise the quality that you have. But that's not only its little party piece. Now you see here with American Dad, I've got a couple that uh, I've not named correctly, they were the files. Just go across to that program, American Dad. And I'll do a rescan of the files. I have to add these in manually because American Dad is a season off with the downloads. Oh, I don't know why, it's just really annoying though. Right, so it's indexed now what it believes are the correct episodes. And I just named them. S10E06 picks it up, season 10, episode 6 and 7. And that's the way to name them to get them into Sickbeard. Now I'll do a preview of the rename. Oh, yes, yeah, nicely highlighted which ones it wants to rename. Yep, highlight those two. Scroll all the way down. Click Rename Selected. Just go over here, refresh. Ha! They're now renamed. And they're renamed into a format that XBMC will pick up. So that's great, absolutely good program, and I'll show you a tutorial on how to get that up and running very soon. The other program I want to show you is Couch Potato. Now what Couch Potato does is the equivalent of Sickbeard, but for movies. So you can put in movies that you want to download. This is the list I have. Yes, I'm downloading them prior to buying them, because what you find is if you sample these movies out, they tend to be utter garbage a lot of the time. Uh, case in point, a good day to die hard. Had that not been called Die Hard, that would have actually been a fairly good movie. But it wasn't. It was a so it just ruined the whole series with that. Anyway, that's just my opinion of it. If I go onto IMDB, you can see what's coming up. How about that? Edge of Tomorrow. That sounds half decent. Okay, um, dunno. <laughs> may or may not be any good, but let's uh, copy that title. Go across the couch potato, paste that in there, press enter. Ooh, it's not found it. Oh, <laughs> that's because I got a load of rubbish at the beginning. Let's try again. Edge of Tomorrow. And that's got the information, I think it gets it from IMDB. I'm not entirely sure on that one though. So what quality would I like? Um, 1080p. I'll add that. When that becomes available in 1080p, that will be added to my collection. So again, I'll do a tutorial on that very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.